Hey yo, what's up everybody? I'm doing one of my vlogs again, or vlogs, whatever you want to call it. I thumbs up, guys. I've been getting a lot of subscribers, a lot of comments. Thanks everybody for that. Appreciate it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does me good. Um, first of all, today I'd like to talk about. Sorry, I got a text message. Whatever, I don't care. For the past three days, I've been doing tryouts for my basketball team, Big Blue Warriors, you know, repping. Well, I got cut today. Yeah, it's really, I just find it so stupid because, first of all, I put my heart into that. I really did. And I tried, and literally, it went like, like, this is what tryouts were in my town. Like, they, my town's real serious. Real serious about sports. Real serious, alright? And I take basketball very seriously. I practice as much as I can. I'm always out there shooting, dribbling, playing, pickup games. Always out there playing, alright? So, the practices kind of go like this, so... You got, I don't know, yeah, you can see my fingers. All right, so think of the court like this. So you would have, you would have to do like suicides where you run to the foul line, run back. All right, you got to go to run to the foul line, run back. All right, run to the half court, run back. Run to the other foul line, run all the way back. Run to the full court, run back. And it would be like, Suicide, so run all the way, so do all that four times, back all the way to you figure all the way down and back. Keep doing that, touching every line, and going back every time you touch every line. And then he'd be like, alright, lay up, lay up, lay up, lay up. And then it would be like, drill. And we do a drill. And then he'd be like, alright, more suicides. We do suicides again. And then it'd be like, whoever was last four people doing the suicides would have to go, and they'd have to do them again. So, alright, it was rough, alright, but I had fun, I'm not gonna lie, I really pushed myself, at times I was saying, I wanted to go to the coach, honestly, it'd be like, I need a break, I honestly need to stop, but I didn't, I really stuck in there, um, the reason that I, I know for a fact, the reason, the exact reason why I didn't make the team and I got cut, because only four people got cut, because not that many people tried out, it wasn't that bad, but four people got cut. Out of like 17, I think. So it wasn't horrible. The reason I got cut was because I haven't played on a team because I haven't tried out for two years. I've just been playing on my own with friends and playing with my family. And I haven't tried out for two years. So when I went to go do, when I, foul shots, I was solid. I practiced with my dad foul shots when I was away or whatever. Ooh, I'm getting another text message, whatever. I can't worry about it now. Um, foul shots, I was really killing. I, I was making them all. Did great form, great killing them. Um, in a scrimmage, in a scrimmage, um, I if you can picture this, um, I ran down. The, my team was over here. We were on defense right over here. My team got the rebound. I ran down the court on the sideline, like very sideline. Ran down the court right off the sideline. The guy threw, um, I think it's called a duck pass, is what they call it, in the air like that, to me. In the air, caught it. I was at the very corner three, and I flipped around like this, and then just quickly, without even looking, went in, swish. That was probably the best thing I did. It was sweet. Everyone was like, holy shit, yo, Dan, nice shot. Yo, did you see that? Did people go? My friend Chris went over to the kids and were like, yo, you see that? That was sweet. I was like, yeah, buddy, that's right. Whatever. I thought I, I did good that day. That was yesterday. This, that was the second day of trials to that. But really what, what killed me was the sprinting. I actually got a giant blister on my foot that I wrapped up with a bandages this morning and taped up this morning because it was really bad and it still really hurts right now from that but like I still went to practice trials tonight I still went I didn't care I'm not gonna say be a baby like ah, I got injured so what I don't care it's part of the game you know everyone gets injured NBA players get injured NFL people get injured you know it's part of the game but um pretty much 
Um, the reason it was, like I said, since I haven't played on a team for two years, I screwed up on the drills big time. Like, we probably did about maybe five or six different drills on top of foul shooting, scrimmages, and suicides. We probably did about six drills. About three of them I knew already, and the other three I totally, like, screw up on. Because I never did them before. Like, I never did them before. I can't really explain this to you, but pretend that this is your middle man right here. This is your point guard. And then here, and here, you got two people. Offen offense is here. Well, defense is here, and the offensive people are here. So, bas and that, so basically, what you do is um, the, the point guard passes to, well, the point guard, well, the, the two people on the side, the guy at defense, they go up and down. They do almost like a V-cut, but it's not a V-cut. They just go up and down, right? And, um, and then the guy, the point guard will pass to this person, and then the person here on, 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 on um, offense, and, and then the person over here will pick the guy here, so the person that right, was right from here will run around and get the ball again, and then it'll just keep going in a circle. I don't know if you followed that, but like for some reason, I just couldn't get it. When I was on the court trying to do it, I was like, what the hell? Like, what's going on? Where am I supposed to go? Because you gotta wait for your players. When you're down here and you're like, you know, the three and the four position, when the two people are right there and you're here and the other guy's here, you have to wait a certain at a certain time and then you switch. Like, I didn't know when to wait, and it was all messed up. I messed up that drill. Um, you know the one that was easy, just a crisscross line, line of kids here, line of kids here. You pass to the kid there who's running down the court. The guy, you run behind him, the guy, pat, you pass to the guy over here, and you run behind him, and then there's one guy down here who gets, gets passed to by this person, and then he lays it up. All right, that one, my hands got real sweaty because the gym was real hot. And we weren't, we were barely getting any water breaks, and I was really getting sweaty. And like the ball was all sweaty from other kids, and every time I tried to get the ball, I mean, this happened to a lot of kids, not just me, but the ball would slip because of the far, far duck pass that people would give you. So that was really, that was, that was, another, that was pretty not too good either, but I got a couple good layups in because of that. That was pretty good. There was a couple other ones where you would, st the guy would be under the, the guy would be, there'd be the guy, the shooter here, and then you'd be under the basket, you'd pass to the guy, run up to him, block his shot, he'd shoot, then he'd get, he, if he missed, he'd get the rebound, and if he didn't, then I'd run here, and then he'd pass me the ball, run up to me and shoot, and we do that. I was good at that one, that was good. I made a lot of shots doing that, that was very solid. Um, I got, and also, another thing I did real well was defense. I re like I went up against kids that were definitely better than me, a better player than me, faster than me, better than me, and I'm six feet tall, so I'm pretty tall. So like, technically, I wouldn't be the quickest on the team, but I kept with all those real good kids. Like on defense, I really kept with those real good kids. But really, the fact that the coaches were watching me mess up all these drills must have been why I got cut. Because I definitely know I shouldn't have got cut. But whatever, you know. The part that pissed me off the most is. When my coach called me and the other three kids that got cut into the locker room to tell us that we got cut, he said to us, quote, quote, you're lacking the skills to play on this team. That was offensive to me. You know, I understand, like, a bottom line is someone has to get cut, people have to get cut, but that was mean the way he said that. He was trying, he meant right, I guess, but that wasn't right. And he said that like you can be on you can be management on the sideline if you want to be still, but no, nah, I'm not gonna sit there on the sideline managing the team as I watch just how I should be out there when people are doing careless mistakes and I know I could have done better. So no. I didn't want this whole video to um I'm gonna let the last minute be about other things, but I didn't want the whole video to be about basketball, but ended up being that. Alright, so anyway, that's about it. Um I'm pretty pissed off, but you know, I just spent like, look at this hit, look at, I don't know if you can see this, but I just spent a long ass time doing my history homework. I got two pages of that shit. I did real good. Um, I have a project due Friday, but I'm not going to do it tonight, I'm too tired. Um, the rest of my week, I don't know, I have plans on Saturday night with some, some kids, but other than that, that's basically my life right now. So pretty bummed out. Um, I'm just rushing kind of now because I only got 30 seconds, pretty bummed out. But, you know, what are you going to do? I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to, like I said to my friend, I said, you know what? My son someday, I'm going to teach him how to be a real, real good basketball player. That is my goal, and I will continue to play this sport because I love it. 
and I'm very passionate about this sport. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoy my videos. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.